Hey guys, this is Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. I haven't done a video here in about a month. Sorry about that. We've been a little busy and took a quick uh, vacation. Um, yeah, it is going to be July 4th coming up next week. This video is to show you the completion of this pro um, project. And um, if you want to, uh, my SEO guy, if you would look this up, I appreciate it. It's going to be under Old Town Fort Collins, um, a back pergola. And um, I'm hoping this video will help you guys out. Again, this is 2022. Our code changes next year in 2023. As of what I know now, this was all current code that we had to do. But here's how it looked in the beginning. If you look at my other videos, you'll see my Kubota there with my, da my daughter, possibly. We were digging. Come over here. So the little meter used to be right over there. And we had to move the underground over to here. I'll show you in a second. And then we had to do all of this piping through this area. And then the gas guy ended up putting a gas stub up here. And the service, the utilities ended up digging it back. And I helped them to here to bring the power in. And then this had to be set with the new codes with emergency service disconnect put a plug here we had to rewire the garage surge protective device service disconnect sticker main breaker bypass lever meter inner system bonding bridge bar two eight foot ground rods and then extra breakers in here that we did and we gave them 150 amp service because that was the max that they allowed us to go to and then up this post that they thought they were going to use up here and then the box is in here so it is accessible from underneath here it's not something that I wanted I wanted it here but what can you do anyways we put in a junction here for extra wires for them this these two GFIs have to be here because there's two circuits serving the lighting and the fan and the festive lights out there you, you, we have plugs up above. They're wet rated tamper proof, but they cannot be GFI'd up above. They have to be down below. So you have to reset them from here. The switches are here. Our festive lights, go ahead and look out that way. On one switch, our second light here, and our third switch will be for our gas heater once they get it in right here. We piped all of this. And then put some outlets on the back side. Constant power, switchable plug. They're going to be putting a gas fire thing here with a couple metal cabinets, but it's not serving a counter. You do have to treat it like a kitchen. So we did both sides. Here's another junction that came up in the cement. And that had to go up so we could get all of our mess up here. And that's how that turned out. That's so we could switch the fireplace plug, which we're going to have a 40 watt transformer in that box that will step down to turn on the igniter. And then the, there's just extra wiring in there because we split circuits and then we ran in the attic because they wanted an attic fan. And then the ground wire went all the way around to get to the front of the house to ground the cold water to get out there to that service because of 250 52 and 53 they would not allow us to ground in that box we had to pull one solid continuous number six up to 150 amp rating 250.52 no 250.66 sorry and that goes all the way out to that service plus i had an egc ground in 250.122 that had to bond that panel to there i want to talk about extra grounding and I had two eight foot ground rods in this house. You can see one there and one here. And then they wanted two eight foot ground rods on that garage. I got 32 feet of ground rods plus cold water within 50 foot. Redundant. Anyways, there's gonna be an AC set over there. You pre-wired for that. Push that wire under the cement. We put a plug up high because they're gonna put a big old TV right here. First, they gotta paint the house. 
And then this house is lath and plast, 110 years old. So I'll show you two other things. Um, floodlight over there that we added for them. And then we had to rewire that floodlight because it didn't even have a box and it was radio shack connectors ready to burn down the garage. As you can see downstairs, all the downstairs is finished. So everything we did was up in the attic. A lot of good attic space. Put them a Christmas plug, came down here and then Jathan show them right there. We put a plug in the sunroom for them. Okay. We also got the interior put down three plugs in the interior and spliced everything in the attic. If you're splicing in the attic, you gotta be up out of the insulation. I don't wanna crawl up there and show you it, but you can see it from here. We put it up there and it's spaghetti around and got just a few outlets for her that she needed. But a lot of these walls, because they're lath and plast, sometimes you're gonna have to think about wire mold. I don't like wire mold, it falls apart. I personally would do MC cable or if, you know, if it's in a closet, but if it's gonna be shown, maybe you do some EMT or you cut out your lath and plast and you put up drywall. Um, but yeah, so this project has been pretty long on and off for us. But uh, you can see how it turned out and the utilities would not allow it underneath your eave. So if you're building all this without a permit and you have your meter underneath there, or especially if you screen it in a sunroom, you're going to get in trouble. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Have a good day.